Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Memory here. We have everyone, ladies and gentlemen, for some more Yojo Senki, this being episode 6. And we have our battalion formed. We actually saw them in action for the first time in the previous episode. And it wasn't even, like, you can't even call it a battle. It wasn't a battle. It was just, we completely mopped the floor with the you know, forces we went up against. And then Tanya's little act at the end of the previous episode, like with the whole factory or whatever, was awesome. It was, it was Pretty funny, I gotta say. So, uh, I'm excited for more. See what we're gonna have going forward. Of course, we're at what, like the halfway point? Well, I guess if you don't include the movie, we're at like the halfway point. But, uh, yeah, let's get into this episode, guys. See what we'll have with this one. We're starting at the very beginning, zero seconds, and we're gonna hop into it in three, two, one, play. Okay, so this is a couple days after. Okay. We had a little fun and then kind of dipped out of there. <laughs> I mean, the way they fight. Did you see some of the ways they were fighting? <laughs> They're using, like, methods from so long ago. World War. Okay, okay. I'll quickly move on. So after this, the 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 Dacia with it, probably some of the other, you know countries or whatever or alliances or whatever it may be we're gonna go up against will probably be way stronger than than what we just saw in the previous episode I like how they go into this, honestly, like, the factors that kind of influence a, a war or, like, a country's methods or, like, how they're going to attack or 203rd Battalion, which is ours, which is ours. They all have them going around everywhere. <laughs> this is good, this is about to be their go-to. I mean, I feel like it. Duh, right? They're gonna be the go-to uh, <laughs> battalion. Like, when in doubt, go to the two hundred third. A snowball fight where they, they have some mages themselves right so this will put us more to the test probably these new recruits they put through they've been put through the ringer though as we saw Strange, they're sending you guys? But they're sending us in. Being X. <laughs> Being X is interfering or <laughs> something, imagine. <laughs> Being X has something to do with this. Someone in the shadows. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. That was my first guess. <laughs> Beginning of madness. Oh shit. multiple factions supporting them. When you're running out of options, you gotta you're grasping at straws, you gotta do what you uh <laughs> gotta resort to those kinds of things I guess. Are we off? <laughs> Are we off? Okay, so we're already in the action. Okay. I thought maybe we'd see like the march or the the flight, <laughs> the flight there. Yeah, they're 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 being put more to the test here. Or maybe this is a different force. No, I think this is ours. Oh my god, he just got sniped. Yeah, this might be another group, actually. I think I'm tripping. Chalk that up as a L. Oh, maybe they're still going to fight. I thought maybe they were all going to fall back. more everything is happening how they weren't predicting or how they weren't expecting so it has to be being x behind some of this shit oh shit they got a bunch of shit to worry about right here <laughs> Yeah, so this is another one of our one of our battalions that are about to get like wiped out. <laughs> we we don't got time to discuss. We don't got time to like We don't got time for this. Hang in there. Hang in there. He's pretty much telling him to die. Well, to them, it's like, man, we're just going to, if we try to hang in, we're going to die. Like, What? Being X is behind this shit, dude. That was so awkward. Oh, here comes our, here comes our group. Yep. Let's go. Hey, let's go. This is going to be more of a test for us. This is going to be more, I feel like this is going to be a lot more enjoyable than what we saw in the, in the previous episode in terms of the actual fight, right? Because it wasn't really, it was a slaughter. It was, it wasn't even a contest, a battle. That's like a that's the nickname they gave him a pixie battalion. 
they do that in the previous episode? They gave him that name? Or maybe it just happened in this episode? I'm not sure. Don't need help. We don't need help. We don't need help. We good. I mean, we saw them. We we saw them how high they were going. We're coming. Yeah, we're shooting down on them. They weren't expecting that shit. <laughs> Because they're probably at a disadvantage here if they're having to fight while they're above them. You would think, right? Yeah, they're, they're way more formidable than who we saw in the previous episode. That's for damn sure. Definitely. <laughs> a real war. A real war. She ain't lying, though. That shit was not a real war <laughs> in the previous episode. All the eyes on you. <laughs> the, the pressure. <laughs> Weiss is just like, well, that's her. <laughs> that's her. It fired him up, though. <laughs> More of those bombers. Or are those the same ones? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. See, like, we have a lot of these traditional, like, fighting methods and stuff, like, in terms of war, like, when you're fighting in a war, like, for this time, but then you have, like, something, a little twist in there, like, with the mage, the aerial mage battalion, so it's, like, a nice, uh, they do a nice, they do a nice job of, like, mixing it up, right, because you still have some of these traditional war methods and fighting techniques, then there's this, <laughs> like, what we're doing, kind of cool. That music, I mean, <laughs> so <laughs> she about to do something crazy. That music picks up like that, like. <laughs> he thought <laughs> there's only one coming towards us. Like, are you serious? <laughs> oh my God, that's what you're worried about. That's what you're worried about. Too quick. Too quick. At this altitude, too, man. <laughs> A demon! <laughs> Badass demon. Y'all don't even know. Hello. Hey there. What's up? <laughs> Yo, they look like they saw a ghost. <laughs> Hello and goodbye. That's a grenade. Yep. <laughs> she went right for the formation leader first. 
I think I'll leave us with some presents. She about to shoot them all out of the air? Oh, I thought she was going to be like, bam, 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 bam. But apparently she's going to do it in one go, I guess. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, maybe it will be one. Oh, okay. No, it just split into a bunch of bullets. What the fuck? So I was partially right, in a way. <laughs> Damn. I mean, maybe those weren't. They look like bombs that they dropped out of their planes. They said they were dropping something. Mm. Oh my gosh. What'd you what'd you expect? You expected them to live? <laughs> Cut out their brain and take it. Oh, this is the being X shit. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, this is fucked up. This is weird. This is weird. <laughs> this is weird. Ooh. Jeez. The entire world. So like world war, like all the factions against them, that's kinda of where they're going with it or what yeah. Figured being X yeah, I think we all probably figured that being X was somewhat kinda of behind it or was pulling strings somehow. And just how we saw that being X got to the scientist dude, like being X could do the same thing with any of these individuals from any whatever faction, right? Our own faction, I would assume, maybe as well. She's targeting them. She's targeting them. <laughs> hey, it's about to be too late. This is about to be too late for y'all. Yo, what is the distance here too? How far? Dude. I know it's like magic, man, but still, it's crazy the the, the distance right there and like the accuracy, like you know, I, I know it's Tanya and it's you know there's magic involved, but I mean my goodness. <laughs> oh, some of them did manage to get out, okay. Guy's not even like paying attention to this dude. <laughs> it seems like he just keeps stamping, stamping away. Hey. Okay. Hmm. 
They're gonna get, like I said, they're going to be the go-to battalion. They're going to give up plenty of more uh, things to do. They're going to be putting them everywhere. Yeah, other factions getting involved. <laughs> Everyone against her is how it feels, or how it's gonna feel. I'll teach them all a lesson, <laughs> especially because she knows Big X is kind of behind it in a way, like pulling pulling some strings. That's why, especially she's like, whoever I'm facing, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna destroy. Oh, he has one of those things on his neck, too. Does he not? Huh. Yeah, he has, like, one of the... Isn't that kind of similar to the, the sort of thing that Tanya has on her neck? Or am I tripping? Might be tripping. I'm not sure. But I was, gonna, I was just about to say, too, these little kind of instances they're having, like, these little scenes with some of, like, the side, you know, characters from, like, these other... You know, alliances and other... Which this guy might actually be kind of important, but... Like, we're kind of seeing the uh, the perspectives are kind of getting a little bit on these other people from these other factions. Like, they're kind of subtle, and they kind of happen randomly, but they're I feel like they're definitely important, right? Um, now, maybe it's because being X is somehow manipulating them or somehow doing stuff with them while they're showing that the, these... Some of these things kind of randomly in, in a little out of context, but um, that, that would be what I would think, but we'll have to see. But it looked like he did have kind of something similar on his neck that kind of like Tanya has, if I remember correctly, like the thing Tanya has on her. So I'm kind of curious on what's, maybe Tanya's not the only one who was like summoned here or something like that, right? Like this guy maybe was summoned. Uh, he was looking at like his, like his family. Like his past family or I mean it could just be his family right in this in this world as he just normally lives and maybe he's not from like another world or something. I'm just jumping the gun. I mean but you never know. You never know with this with these kinds of series, especially this one. Oh, we got something. Got something else. I was about to I was about to see. Were we supposed to have like a party or something, right? Or is that not happening yet? <laughs> Secondhand smoke, is that not something that is <laughs> that they know in, in this time? <laughs> Everyone's smoking. Secondhand smoke, yep. <laughs> they don't know what that is in this time. <laughs> Next time, war report. So, uh, yeah, this episode, pretty good stuff, I gotta say, all around. Uh, we definitely had more of a of a test, for sure, this time around, compared to the previous episode with, you know, kind of who we went up against in this episode. But, I mean, so, you know, some of the stuff Tanya was pulling off in this episode, which, like, at this point, I'm not even really surprised. Although, you her shooting that at that distance, man, I just realized this thing was going for 45 it was set at 45 minutes it's probably been like that the whole time guys so i'm i'm sorry about that and <laughs> there probably was no timer the whole time i i messed up i messed up uh on that aspect so hopefully you guys can sync up fine dang that kind of sucks but uh what was i saying yeah like some of the stuff with tanya like it, it shouldn't surprise me anymore but i mean when she's shooting something like that even though there's magic involved like at that much of a distance dude it's just insane <laughs> it really is and and just like um you know some of the other things she was doing like fly you know how fast she was flying up you know 
continuing to get at you know, a higher altitude and like imagine you fighting in the in these times against someone like that we would all we would probably have the same reactions as those you know the the fighter pilots did <laughs> they were just like what no way is this a joke like do you, are you committing suicide like what is wrong with you and then next thing they know they're they're dead right uh, but the thing i'm interested the most uh, about kind of what's going on right now obviously is being x and being x's uh, involvement in all of this which you know we'll probably see more of that get more into that and see how it's going to play out obviously as we go forward but the the you know the battalion our battalion is getting more and more active we're kind of being put in a bunch of different situations a bunch of different places we're kind of like i guess the go-to battalion right now when it, it at least that's what it seems like when it comes down to it so i'm excited to see uh interested to see as well kind of to, you know where things go from here uh in the series so uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you all thought of this episode. Once again, I'm sorry about the uh, timer issue. I may be able to, to like, post-recording, I may be able to put something in there. So if you guys do actually see a timer and you hear me talking about this, then you'll know I actually got it sorted out. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll see what happens in the next episode of Tanya for, you know, for the next video. Let me know what you guys thought of this one. If you guys did enjoy my reaction, make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.